Hello Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope that you're all having a fabulous day today. I'm going to take a look and see what is it that's manifesting for you all this month. Any messages, advice, everything you need to know, what's showing up around you as well. So this could be someone on your mind. So whenever you do um, see this in the chance that you see it outside of this month and it resonates, um, take it as your reading. Um, but as always, practice using your discernment. Take what resonates, leave out the rest. And if you are interested in a personal reading done by myself, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all with the link to my website spirituallywilla.com for you to view all of the different options for readings okay so Sagittarius what do you need to release what can you let go of right so it, it we got the world reverse so it, it feels like there's a lack of closure to something. Like something came to a stop or there was a lot of confusion over a decision. Okay. What is this unfinished business about? Two of Wands. Four of Wands. Okay. So, yeah, it feels like there were plans made, plans made that never really like followed through and there's a lot of confusion as to like why, yeah, why did it move forward, why a uh, situation suddenly or abruptly like came, came to a stop here. All right. There was a lot of indecision. So I always say if it's not a clear yes, it's a no. There was a lot of indecision on something. And if that confusion was just a way to realign you towards your happiness. All right. You have happiness here. So are, welcome in some sun and some happiness because this month overall looks like you're having a really good time. You're you're in this place where you are open to receiving. You're open to receiving the blessings, the abundance that comes your way. Yeah, it feels like you are in a place this month where you are receiving something. Um, but this feels like it's something you're receiving that you worked hard for. Eight of Pentacles. You're in this energy right now where you don't want to wait for things to just pass by. You're putting in the work. You're working hard towards your achievement. And this month just really looks like you're continuing this this ha this this habit and consistency that you've created and not only proving to others, but proving to yourself that you can make things happen. You can create your reality. You are in the process of your own self mastery here. Okay. What is this two of swords about? Okay. A person, queen of pentacles, Maybe even two people here. There was a lot of um, indecision about who would be the right fit. Okay, I'm seeing community. I'm seeing this as somebody who you could have met in like a community setting. Um, this could even be like a gym at the gym or like a yoga class or something like that. But tell me about this release. What is it that Sagittarius is releasing? Okay, feels like you are actually releasing a few people in order to refocus on your own happiness, refocus on your own goals. Um, okay. Hmm. 
releasing what success looks like to you and inviting whatever success comes your way. That's what it feels like. It's like you're releasing an idea of what something should look like and allowing yourself to receive what is meant for you. Receiving what's meant for you and and knowing that whatever is being given to you is going to be exactly what you need at this time receiving what you need okay yeah i feel like there's something that you're still learning or still in the beginning stages of working on or some of you may feel like you're still new to something here um and you're in the process of getting to this empress mode getting into this um wiser and more abundant loving nurturing version of yourself continuing the path continuing to nurture the seed that you created okay i also feel like there's someone who's like Still needing to release you as well six of swords reversed feels like there's someone who is still holding on to you or still hasn't moved on and is really frustrated and is um in a place where they are their ego is really like keep holding them back from even being able to talk to you it's like i don't really see much actions from this person but i'm seeing it's like they're still attached in some way or they their anchor is still in in the ground once you release they release it feels like a mirror here and vice versa for the cross watchers so someone is is um giving their last push here to re-spark a new passionate beginning with you but is really overwhelmed or burdened by their own responsibilities Yeah, someone's like really moving slow, slowly moving towards and slowly um, also becoming more aware of the realization here that you are truly in the process of like releasing or you are truly in the process of like your back is turned or turning. If you have someone in mind. Um, think of them. Let's take a look and see how they feel about you this month. The situation with you, Sagittarius. The first person. Queen of Pentacles coming out again. So, okay, three of wands. Some of you could definitely be dealing with an earth sign, a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or someone who is a business owner, someone who is a really hardworking. They have a good job. They have a good career. They have a really good life set for themselves. Um... Mm, two three of wands waiting waiting for something from you this month okay so someone hasn't stopped waiting and really wants there to be a positive shift or a positive change here um, but they're seeing you as uh, reevaluating things or looking back and seeing whether or not this is something that you want to continue to invest your time into. They are watching you. I do see communication, but it doesn't really feel like a big conversation. It just looks like 
they're they're trying to get clarity on where your mind is at. Clarify this page of swords as their actions. Yeah, four of wands. They're like, are we going to see each other or not? Or is this going to happen or not? Are we going to um, come together? Or, or should I move on type of thing? This could even be an event that you both may be going to. It's like, are we, am I going to see you? That's what I'm hearing. Am I going to see you? Okay. And so this month is really going to um, test you, test your commitment, test your work. Because you are headed towards this world, towards this this um, big achievement and towards closing a chapter that was um, a lot of hard work. And at the same time, this is you feeling really fulfilled with the fact that everything that you're putting your work in towards right now is going to pay off. Okay, but it's not going to pay off this month, though. That world reverse feels like there's still another a little bit to go. We're at the eight before getting to the nine and then the ten. So it's like you're more than halfway, though. You're more than halfway, but there is so much happiness ahead of you. There's so much um, also releasing the idea of like when something should happen, how it should look ha happening this month for you. It's like, yeah, you are going to get there you're going to get there regardless. Um, even if it, if it doesn't happen this month, it doesn't mean that it's not going to happen, right? It's like not an overnight success thing. This is something that you are, I see you learning like consistency or this is teaching you consistency and patience. And tell me about this happiness though. And, and you are seeing... You are seeing something come out of it, though. You are seeing it being worth it. You are seeing the growth this month. This is the month of you see actually seeing things growing, right? Okay. And it's giving you more courage to continue what you're doing. Embracing the journey of where you're at right now. Embrace it. Embrace the journey. Because once you get to this, once you get to that goal, or once you achieve that thing that you want, then you look for the next thing. You look for the next goal. You look for the, the next steps, right? So enjoy where you are right now. Everything looks good. Everything looks like you're exactly where you need to be. I'm seeing the numbers 2, 10, 8, 6. Those numbers... Um, they could be birthdays, special day synchronicities. I'm seeing the letters M, C, W, R, P, N, S. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.